it is our habit to bring you the best personalities to share their wisdom in our academy session as per our agenda this is the moment to listen to our renowned keynote speaker he is none other than dr taro obeashi an assistant professor at the faculty of health and sports sciences university of tsukuba he is a member of the japan olympic academy and graduated from the International Olympic Academy Master's Degree Program in 2015 and received the doctoral degree Olympic uh, in 2020 by University of Tsukuba. His dissertation is mainly related to the history of the disaster recovery through sports in Japan. His research area include history and anthropology regarding physical education, sport and Olympics. He is also a member of the Center for Olympic Research and Education in Japan. In addition, he has been an early career scholar representative of the International Society of Physical Education and Sport History since 2017 with the Routledge Junior Scholar Presentation Award 2015. Dr. Taro Biashi, we are humbled and it's our greatest honor to have you here. Professor, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, if you can uh, turn on the camera uh, before I start, would, uh, I would like to uh, see your faces. Yeah, if you can, <laughs> uh, please turn on the camera. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, this is Taro Obayashi at the University of Tsukuba. Uh, as, uh, as introduced, yes, I'm an um, uh, assistant professor at the University of Tsukuba just now, and I'm very honored to be here with you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, my uh, uh, presentation is starting from now, and I'd like to share my experiences and also uh, that uh, I'd like to uh, discuss with you about the new normal culture of sport uh, beyond COVID-19 with historical elements, historical backgrounds as well. Okay, so I'd like to uh, uh, share my slides now. Okay, so... Uh, uh, first of all, Spa Uda Sanak, where over Hamuya Satstak Mage Nama Taro Bayashi, Mama Japanaye Yedan Aube. I hope uh, this means, uh, uh, yeah, nice to meet you. This is Taro Bayashi. I'm, I'm from Japan. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Again, I'm very honored to be here with you and congratulations on the uh, holding the uh, 17th uh, National Olympic Academy of Sri Lanka. The first keynote is the title of the uh, new normal era on the Olympic movement with the experience of Tokyo 2020. So before we start the uh, main content, I would like to ask you, uh, do you know the uh, International Olympic Academy in Greece? Have you ever heard it? If you, ha uh, if you know that, please uh, raise your hands or uh, uh, sending stamps, please, on Zoom. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. A few. <laughs> ah, yes. Raise your hands, please, again. Have you heard about International Olympic, International Olympic Academy? Yes, thank you very much. Yes, yeah, some of you have uh, uh, knew about it. So yeah, uh, there is the International Olympic Academy at the region of ancient Olympia, uh, almost 300 kilometer west away from Athens. Sorry, wait a moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Instead of my self-introduction, I'd like to share the experience as a student of the master's degree program in IOA 
uh, 2011 to 2012. Aside from the youth sessions, uh, uh, which is held in every summer. As you can see on the screen, there is a dormitory, lecture hall, truck and field, and pools, besides the ancient archaeological site of the ancient Olympia. So the course title was the uh, master's degree program on the Olympic studies, Olympic education, organization, and management of the Olympic events with the periods of the Olympic movement, education, sports, and culture, which is constitute uh, the foundation for Olympism and Olympic pedagogy. Through the program, the IOA seeks to spread the values of the Olympic movement and promotion of knowledge and the research in Olympic issues and global participation. Actually, this is the letter uh, for the announcement which I received uh, on 2011 and had an entrance examination and telephone interview. I remember, and I guess uh, Mr. Akri he, he from Sri Lanka uh, joined the, uh, uh, the master's program before me. And actually it was tough and I was asked uh, my motivation to participate deeply by the IOA. So uh, uh, then, they are my classmates, yeah, 28 members from all over the world and from a wide range of uh, generations. I am on the second line uh, with Indian nice guy, uh, Mr. Ashish Kumar. Uh, we are from 22 years old to around 50. Had run together and stayed around six months uh, at the uh, dormitory uh, together. Let me show some pictures. On the campus, there is the conference hall, uh, the uh, right one, a library and 250 meter truck, and especially the grave of the Pierre Kubelchan. His heart is uh, with the ancient site of the Olympi uh, ancient Olympia. Actually, we went through the uh, ancient site by foot and tried to uh, the stadium base and experienced the ancient pentathlon as well. There was an official museum of the uh, excavated items from the site, like the uh, left side picture. On the classroom, we had many lectures by well-known professors and had many groups activities on each module. We discussed the philosophy history, pedagogy, and the, uh, that kind of, uh, sorry, the management of the uh, Olympic games and so on. So I guess, yes, yeah, through these four days, uh, you, uh, you will experience uh, this kind of activities, uh, very interactivity on this week and in this session. Then here's my roommate, Dr. Hussein Halim from Maldives. I learned from him a lot about the achievement and the challenges of the Olympic movement uh, at, from the side of the Muslim. Mm. He was um, vice president of the NOC and uh, instead uh, very, uh, he inspired me a lot. Actually, yeah, I stayed with him together uh, uh, every day, every night <laughs> and mm, he, he taught to me uh, the main points of the lectures. And also sometimes I uh, gave the information of Japan and uh, uh, culture as well. And sometimes uh, the comedy, Japanese comedy, Ken Shimura, uh, he, he, he likes very much. And uh, uh, yeah, I um, interpreted and translated the YouTube channel uh, from Japanese to English as well. It's a um, uh, uh, nice memory for me. And the point is, he was the first Olympic athlete from his country and participated in the 1988 uh, Seoul and 19, 1992 Barcelona Olympic Games. He couldn't get medals, but he took 
at least the first step of the Olympic movement in Maldives. I am still keeping the touch. Uh, let me report the experiences of today's keynote uh, to him later on. Okay, so uh, it was a little bit uh, longer than uh, I expected, but uh, let me start the main part with the following the uh, introduction part. Uh, new, new normal era on the Olympic movement with experience of Tokyo 2020. I'd like to go through the three points below. Firstly, we look back the experience of Tokyo 2020 games. How did you watch or participate? Uh, secondly, uh, remember at the opening ceremony, the IOC showed uh, that new motto, it's faster, higher, stronger, and together. I think uh, this is the key words uh, to consider the discuss, consider and discuss the new normal era of the Olympic movement. Thirdly, uh, let's see the original attempts for the new normal era with the international online exchange program through the Tokyo games. It was happened uh, finally uh, uh, at the uh, summer of this year. So first of all, the experience of Tokyo 2020 games. Okay, we look back. Uh, we check the timeline of the postponement of the games. After the decision of the postponement of the uh, games on two, uh, 24th March, uh, 24th March 2020, actually it was just after the Olympic flame arrived at Miyagi Prefecture in Japan, the IOC President Thomas Bach released the, uh, of the official announcement of the Olympic movement on the title of the Olympism and the Corona as follows. Uh, let me quote part three. We had the unique opportunity to turn the celebration of the postponed Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 into a festival of unity for humankind and a symbol of human resilience to overcome this coronavirus crisis. Oh, background music. Thank you very much. Uh, imagine what a powerful signal of hope these Olympic Games will be uh, for the world during these unprecedented times. The Olympic frame can be the light at the end of the dark tunnel that humankind currently finds itself in. So how did you read the message at the moment? I also hoped like the uh, President Thomas Bach, the world overcome yeah, this coronavirus crisis at all. And the festival should be a symbol of human resilience after one year of 2021. But as you know, actually in fact, the games are held with no spectators in most of venues. To be honest, uh, it's uh, well individually, it was simply sad for me. Actually, I had some tickets on the track and field events, especially looking forward to the watching the classroom, uh, my, my major event. So, uh, but anyway, uh, there are finally uh, no, no audience, no spectators at the national stadium on the opening ceremony on the uh, 23rd July. However, however, even I have just watched the games every day on TV, one idea comes up, came up on my mind that games in pandemic are a kind of silent. Mm. But on the other hand, it creates the new suggestions for the Olympic movement in new normal era as well. What meanings? For example, Maybe as you noticed, uh, there was a monitor at the uh, event venues. The name of the athlete moment. The picture is on Ducaros Nikita, a Swiss freestyle BMX bronze medalist, 
just after the performance, she met her mother via online. Athletes shared their emotions uh, together uh, directly with their family, fans, and also the relatives, colleagues, wherever uh, they are, uh, wherever uh, they can. Uh, there is uh, this kind of system online. Other notice is that two Brazilian have played volleyball in masks with masks during the Olympics. Uh, Lucas Satkamps uh, of the men's team and Marcus Carnello of the women's team. The mask is one of the uh, symbolic item of the corona pandemic. But uh, let's read his comment. The right side. Uh, if I get infected with the coronavirus, I will spend a lot of time in isolation away from my child and my family. My first child, now I keep on more uh, for fear uh, for my uh, wife and child. In addition, uh, Ms. Macri said, I pray with uh, masks on because the mask protects myself and the people around me, and I feel safer with it. I believe that it, it, uh, sorry, uh, it's important to wear a mask and respect social distancing during the pandemic. The mask doesn't hinder or bother me when I am on the court. And this is a way I can inspire people to keep wearing their own masks. It's again uh, my individual opinion, but the voices of the athletes had the strong messages to people, especially on that she wore masks to protect not only for herself, and but the uh, people around her. Obviously, it is a meaningful choice to realize Olympic ideas in the pandemic, even it is not written in the rules. They seem to be a new role models in the society at the moment. I'd like to respect their will and their behaviors as well. Right, so the second part, I'd like to present the historical dimensions of the new Olympic motto on the context of the Olympic movement, especially in Japan. 1912, Stockholm Olympics, 1964, Tokyo Olympics, and also the Tokyo 2018 Games at the present. Okay, in the history, yeah, uh, sorry, it's the uh, theme of the Japan, but uh, yeah, Japan participated in the Olympic Games, 1912 Stockholm Games. This picture shows the small delegation at the opening ceremony, including the two athletes, Mr. Shiso Kanakuri, and Yahiko Mishima, and the safety mission of Jigoro Kano. Actually, it was the first participation from Asia, and I'd like to emphasize that it was the first time that the all five continents in the world had been together at the Games. I expect some of you have heard about his name as the founder of Kodokan Judo, Professor Jigoro Kano. Actually, he was the first IOC member uh, from Asia and the principal of Tokyo Higher Normal School, University of Tsukuba at present for 23 years. His philosophy, maximum as effective, sorry, maximum efficient use of energy, seiryoku zenyo in Japanese, and mutual prosperity for self and others, jita kyoe in Japanese seems to be not only for judo, but seem to be synthesized to the uh, Olympic movement as well. As above, the Japanese delegation at 1912 Stockholm Games has already showed the motto of together in those days. And as you might know, Japan had experienced the uh, to host games three times past in total before Tokyo 2020. Tokyo 1964, Sapporo 1972 Winter Games, and also Nagano Winter Games in 1998. 
the Tokyo 1964 was the first games with 5,100, sorry, 5,152 athletes from 1903 NLCs after the cancellation of 1940. It was a missing games. For welcoming the games, the government, Japanese government promoted the project for the Olympic movement nationwide. At schools, students learned philosophy, history, and how to manage the games and so on. The picture is at an elementary school in Tokyo. Students look up the uh, panels of ancient games and world them up on the occasion of the games. Actually, in those days, the Olympic readers text book for schools edited by the Ministry of Education were delivered to schools. They are organized uh, for each level of elementary school, junior high school, and high school. Students learned about the uh, Olympics and the kind of legacy uh, inherited to the Olympic and Paralympic education program for Tokyo 2020. Actually, today, uh, many of you uh, uh, hoped or uh, hope to study about the Olympism or Olympic movement itself nationwide or internationally. Mm, maybe you can uh, uh, refer this uh, uh, material, I mean, educational uh, book. Uh, uh, for example, it's in Japanese examples. And here it is actually the translated version of the Olympic readers in Shinhara. This is one of the achievements of Ms. Eranga Fernando, who is the alumni of the master's program in University of Tsukuba, Japan. She got, actually, uh, I want to say that she got the best award in TS program, and I'm very glad to hear from you, Eranga. Your work is inherited to create the Olympic movement in the world. Sorry for interruption, but for now, I'd like to ask you again, uh, do you know the history of the uh, Mr. Lanatunge Karnananda? Uh, please raise your hands again, or uh, uh, yeah, please push the stamps. Yes, do you have, do you, do you ha uh, have you heard about him? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, 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 many of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oops. Okay, so I'd like to, uh, yeah, uh, inter not, not introducing, but yeah, Lifar uh, uh, mentioned about that. Uh, uh, He's the uh, first Olympic athlete, yeah, as you know, yeah, uh, uh, from Salem and participated in the 10,000 meters in athletics. Even he couldn't uh, uh, keep up with the uh, leading group as shown, uniform number 67 didn't stop running. Under the jeers, jeers and boos of the crowd, Karananda kept pushing himself one lap behind the others. He was in great agony, holding his side and as he ran, but the jeers and boos soon turned into cheers. Actually, uh, uh, let's say uh, in those days, uh, the, part, sorry, the uh, audience or spectators in Japan had mm, not good uh, moral or the manners for the uh, spectating sport. So some of the uh, some of them, I mean Japanese parties, Japanese audiences, said bad words uh, to him. But soon they changed their mind and behavior attitude with his running raves. So let's say, yeah, uh, Mr. Karunananda changed or. Um, uh, ah, yeah, uh, ah. mm, raised the good uh, ah, legacy for the Japanese sport world as well. And now, uh, uh, after the goal, yeah, he visited schools and nowadays uh, he is on the uh, textbook of Japan. 
I mean, uniform number twin, uh, number uh, 67 appeared in Japanese language textbook in 19, 19, 1971 and from 1974 to 1976. The publisher had a 50% market share at the time. So many, many Japanese students learned about him and the, his imp impression. And an English translation of the text has also been available in junior high school English textbook since 2016. So, yeah, uh, as you raised your hands, but Japanese students, Japanese young generations knows him well as well. Okay, so uh, with the, uh, that kind of historical uh, backgrounds, documents. Uh, let's see the original attempts uh, for the new normal era with the international online exchange program through the Tokyo Games. So aside from the Tokyo 2020 sport events, the host town initiative was promoted in Japan with the worldwide network. The project aims to connect Japanese local towns with countries and regions taking part in the Tokyo 2020 Games which have been postponed to year of 2021. And to have various exchanges in terms of sports, culture, economy, etc. So through the, uh, uh, the respective host towns, participating countries and regions can develop long-term relationship with Japanese local towns. For example, Hashima city uh, at Gifu prefecture is one of the host town of Sri Lanka. Uh, was the occasion of the games. They had communicated with the cultural exchange, uh, uh, in, invited the athletes of the, uh, sorry, uh, the junior uh, championships in Japan. And uh, uh, yeah, they plan to uh, communicate uh, in the uh, training camps just before the games, but it was yeah, uh, skipped because of the situation. Actually, NLC president, uh, Suresh Subramania visited, thank you very much, at the town as well in Japan. And even the uh, online circumstances, yes, like this, uh, uh, the students and the schools had the opportunity to uh, communicate with the, uh, uh, maybe, maybe some of you officials uh, uh, related to the, uh, that kind of uh, programs as well. Mm -hmm. And even in the circumstances of online, they had created the system or opportunities to uh, communicate each other. From Japan side, yeah, uh, it's the happy and uh, the traditional wear of the uh, 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 mm, festival. So, uh, the occasion of the torch relay, they wear wore this kind of costume and uh, they introduced their culture uh, to Sri Lankan uh, teams as well. And also, uh, some city in Chiba prefecture sent the uh, cheering messages through online. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, mm, uh, they, they wanted to be a, the on the stadium to cheer up the Sri Lanka team delegation, but it was uh, uh, not able to do that because of the situation. So they made the flags and also the, they set the uh, celebration ceremony for the uh, gold medal of the uh, Danish Brianta uh, uh, in the Paralympics as well. So, uh, some city has also uh, this kind of online event as well. So at last, yeah, let's uh, read the uh, yeah, student message letters to the Sri Lankan, Sri Lanka uh, delegation yeah, from the uh, junior high school students. Uh, hello, I will send you a letter from the first time. I like watching track and field. I look forward to it. Uh, at the Olympics, please do your best to get the medal. I love Sri Lanka. To everyone in Sri Lanka, I am not good at sports in general, but I want to do my best to see the Sri Lanka players. Uh, Sri Lankan players, uh, please do your best. Yes, 
So uh, uh, unfortunately, they couldn't. Uh, we couldn't uh, have the opportunity face-to-face uh, uh, -face, uh, in the circumstances of the COVID-19, but they created and they did uh, their best uh, with uh, this kind of online and also the uh, pen letters as well. So uh, this kind of uh, the activities and attempts, I would like to conclude, yes, this is the time of finishing now, 30 minutes. So my conclusion is that, so the new motto together is closely related and have been realized on the history of the Olympic movement in Tokyo 1964, especially the achievement of Mr. Karnananda. Tokyo 2020, it was no spectator games, but at least created and showed that new ideas to realize Olympic values in no normal era beyond the COVID-19. Especially in the situation, the host town initiative showed the good examples of the international cultural exchange online with the heartwarming message by students. So uh, this is my conclusion. And yeah, uh, with the uh, uh, ideas and the uh, uh, Mm, brains of young participants here uh, with Sri Lanka and other uh, countries as well. Uh, uh, we would like to, I'd like to uh, talk and discuss about the new uh, normal sport culture. Maybe, yeah, uh, uh, we have to think about the range of the body yeah, itself and also uh, the uh, communicating uh, how to realize the Olympic ideas with the online system as well. So these are the good examples and the historical facts for the uh, deep, deeping the uh, deepen the uh, discussion from now. So almost all uh, finished uh, by my side. And finally, just one second, uh, one minute. Uh, as yeah, Miss Eranga uh, graduated uh, our University of Tsukuba in Japan, uh, uh, still. Uh, uh, we have the programs, master's degree programs. So if you have uh, uh, interested in the uh, program in Japan, we have uh, uh, yeah, eight to, 10, uh, eight to 10 students every year. And uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, the students uh, experienced that, uh, many kinds of activities and also the lectures about Olympic and Paralympic education, sport science and medicines, sport management and teaching, coaching and Japanese culture. So, uh, uh, Tias has uh, many alumni. Of course, uh, Ms. Eranga is the, uh, one of the uh, head of them and many of uh, the graduation alumni is working uh, there. So if you have, uh, uh, interest uh, to the program, aside from the IOA masters, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much. Sorry for the uh, information at last.